Welcome Security Weekly. This is Matt Alderman. I am recording live from DerbyCon. It's the final day at DerbyCon this weekend. And with me is Ian Coldwater. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. So you presented on Kubernetes this week here at DerbyCon. Topic I love because of my uh, container security background and some of the things that I do. Can you give people kind of an overview of what you covered in your session? Sure. Um, in my session, which was called Perfect Storm, Taking the Helm of Kubernetes, I covered uh, what is a container, why would you want to orchestrate one, um, what Kubernetes is, Kubernetes architecture, and how you can use the different parts of Kubernetes architecture to move through the attack process, and also gave lessons for defenders about what they can do to prevent people from getting that far through the attack process. Yeah, so containerized applications are pretty complex, I think, right? When you would think about it from an architecture perspective, we think about it the way we've traditionally tried to address AppSec, it's, di it's just different, right? It's not this big, tarball of code anymore. It's it's this really distributed kind of environment. And so what we see in the industry is, you know, there's different layers people are trying to protect. You, the host, uh, where Kubernetes is running, the orchestrator, maybe the container itself. Any kind of hints on each of those layers? I mean, wh what's effective, what's not effective? I'd be interested. Okay. Um I recommend, uh, the first things I recommend doing are actually sort of basic security advice. Like I recommend um, getting your threat model together, figuring out like what you're trying to protect, who you're trying to protect it from, what are your capabilities and what are the capabilities of your adversaries, and also just get the basics right. So like make sure that you're segmenting your networks, make sure that you're practicing defense in depth and following the principle of least privilege. And that um, is relevant to everything from the container to the cluster to the host to the public cloud. It, you know, you want to make sure that things aren't allowed to communicate, that don't need to be communicating, that everything is running with as few privileges as possible, and that you're configuring your stuff correctly so that people can't just wander on in and right. move wherever they want. Yeah, and the one of the challenges I see in the industry is a lot of the approaches require root access, which is not really a good idea in the container space, but that's we see a lot of solutions that way. So least privilege means I should not be running root in some of these environments, right? You should not be running your containers as privileged. <laughs> it's great for attackers, but it might not be great for you. Yes, that's, that's my point as well. Any other pointers you want to uh, let the listeners know about? Um, you want to look into role-based access control and um, node restriction and uh, setting quotas on your resources. Make sure that you're not keeping your ports exposed so that every script kitty on Shodan can see it. And, um, you know, Kubernetes has a lot of really good documentation on how to secure your cluster properly, and there's a lot of really good information out there. It is very complex. It's, it's a hard topic. There's a lot of moving parts, right. but it really can be done. People just, it just takes a little bit of work on your part. Good. So if anybody wants to see Ian's session, uh, I believe all the sessions are recorded so they can go out to the DerbyCon website and take a look. Thank you. Thank you so much.